Hi, welcome to my 2022 guide for killing the giant mole in Old School RuneScape. Killed by late game players for the pet and mid game players for the money, the giant mole is an extremely easy boss to start killing if you want to get into bossing or just brainlessly kill it for money. So what actually is the giant mole? It is a mid level boss, commonly killed for its mole claws and mole skins. It's very simple, there's pretty much no mechanics except for technically one and it is found beneath Falador and a spade is needed to access it. So what are the requirements of killing the giant mole? So that's going to change depending on what uh, method or attack style you're going to use, being either ranged or melee. But first, let's talk about other stuff besides that. It's not required, but I strongly recommend if you're not super low level, or if you're not maybe an Iron Man, get the Falador Hard Diary. Again, it's not required, but honestly, doing it without it is not the best. And that's because of the single mechanic the mole actually has, and when you are fighting him, he will occasionally burrow underground and pop up somewhere in the cave randomly, and with the Falador Hard Diary and having the shield in your inventory, you will see where he is in the cave at all times. So if you don't have the diary and the shield, you're gonna waste a lot of time running around trying to find him, and it's pretty annoying. Not only can you see where he is, but you will also receive his mole claw and mole skin drops noted, extending your trips by quite a bit. But let's actually talk about the skill requirements. The main method uh, lower level people do, and when I say lower level, I really mean like mid level, and that's because it's all stats in the 70s, and you're gonna want 70 base attack, strength, and defense, 43 prayer for protect from melee, and high HP. The reason you need high HP is because you're going to be using Darox. When you're using Darok, the lower your HP is, the more your max hit is increased. So basically the idea here is you lower yourself to 1 HP, protect from melee with the 43 prayer, and then hit very high on the giant mole. A typical Darok setup for a budget is going to look like this, currently shown on the screen. And then you can make a little upgrades, such as going from the glory to a fury maybe, or maybe to a torture, and then also going from barrel's gloves to the ferocious. Those are two really simple upgrades that will boost your damage by a decent amount, I believe. This isn't the only setup though. Another setup you can try is void with a rune crossbow if you're really low level, and this is going to be a lot less kills per hour though, and there actually is a safe spot you can use on him. The most effective way to kill the mole is with a twisted bow, but I would be very surprised if more than 10 people watching this actually have a twisted bow, because I feel like this isn't something you'd watch if you have a twisted bow or T-bow. I recently got the Bofa, or the Bow of Ferdina, I believe, and that is also a really good way to kill him if you have full crystal armor with some other ranged gear, because you absolutely annihilate him with ranged. And it's a lot easier because you can just hit him from range, obviously, and you don't have to chase him down as much. And with the bow's passive stacking with the crystal armor damage, it's really strong. Obviously, you use charges, but if I wanted to camp the pet, I would probably use this. And the last way I'm going to talk about killing him is also a full melee setup, but we won't be using Derox, we will be using the Fang. The Fang's passive allows you to hit really hard on enemies with high defense, so you can just absolutely go crazy on the mole, and it actually works out pretty good. I would still stick with the Bofa, but if I didn't have the Bofa, Fang is a very good alternative. Ironically, for a mid-level boss, he's most popularly killed with high-level gear, so take it with a grain of salt. But definitely go for Derox or try Void if you're a mid-level account. So let's talk about the inventory, and your inventory is going to slightly change depending on what gear you bring being melee or ranged, but it will generally be the same. For melee, bring 2-3 to three super combats, divine if you can afford it, fine if you cannot. If you're an iron, bring super strengths and super attacks. If you're doing ranging, same thing but with ranging, so do about 3 ranging potions, divine if you can afford it, and then next will be about... 3 to 4 staminas since you do a lot of running, maybe even 5 if you have really low agility, and maybe even 6 or 7 if you don't have the diary. 10 prayer potions or somewhere around there, this is going to flex depending on if you have the diary or not so you need to take more stams, just experiment it. Also maybe less if you flick, but I'm just going to say most of you probably won't be flicking so 10 is a decent amount. You need a spade to actually get into the lair, the Falador shield 3 if you have it, 
You can bring runes for Alks if you like, but he only has a few Alkable drops, so maybe not. You can bring a cannon to help with the kills. And lastly, the only thing you actually need, other than the spade, is a light source. A bullseye lantern, the candor and headgear, or a fire making cape all work fine. But what I do, and is what a really nice goal to have, is to complete the quest Making Friends with Myon. This allows you to build an eternal fire in different areas of the game, and the mole's cave is one of them. So since I have this, I don't actually have to bring a light source. Lastly, if you're using Darox, bring a locator orb or a dwarven rock cake. So now that I've explained everything, and hopefully it wasn't too long and confusing, seeing as how it is the giant mole, and it's probably the easiest boss in the game, here I am, here's my gear. I'm going to be using Darox, since I feel like that's what most people do that aren't high level. I do have a Torture Prims Ferocious. You might not have these, obviously you can do Glory, Barrows, Dragon Boots, Climbing Boots even if you want, or uh, I think an Amulet of Strength even would work, but at that point just use a Glory because if you're not an Iron it's like 20k more. And then for the Ring, if you don't have a Berserker Ring, you can do a Warrior's Ring I believe, or if you don't even have that, you could just use an Explorer's Ring for the Prayer Bonus. Anyway, here we are, here's my inventory. I actually need to swap out this for the Vines. Obviously you probably won't use the Vines, but I'm gonna. So I'm gonna tell you to Felidor because that is where you actually kill the giant mole. Remember, I don't have a light source because I have the eternal fire. You're gonna wanna come over to the park and you will see these little holes. You can right click and look inside and it will tell you if anyone is in there. You see no adventurers inside, cool. I dig with my spade and you'll immediately see on my minimap the red arrow uh, pointing to where he is. And if I drop my Felidor shield, so if you don't have the diary and the shield with you, you'll see the arrow disappears. So I'm going to pick this up, and what I'm going to do is use the locator orb and spam click and get to 1 HP. Now that we're out. Guys, I didn't take my divine. Anyway, like I was saying, now that you have divined or used your super combat, you basically just use the locator orb or rock cake to get to 1 HP. And now that's all you do. Uh, now I use the Protect from Melee, and I'm going to use Piety, and this is it. This is your life. You just sit here and attack him. Hopefully you hit big with all of your strength bonus. I should be pretty, hitting pretty hard seeing as how I have a torture. You see there's a 78, and there is his burrow mechanic. Obviously he didn't go far, but he will randomly do that. I don't think there's like a set. Uh, I think it's just RNG. As you see, I just hit another 59. And here's a quick tip, uh, I know if, oh, there you go, hard hitter, I just got a elite combat task. So I do believe if your HP goes back up to 2, and I'm just going to test it out, you can just use your locator orb again, and it'll set you to 1 HP. With this gear setup, you can expect somewhere around, I would say maybe 800 to 900 KGP per hour, maybe even a million with higher tier setups such as the Tebow or Bofa or maybe even Fang, you will push above 1 million GP per hour. But if you are a mid-level player, it's really not bad to sit here. You get some combat XP, some money, and a chance at getting your first pet. I brought the cannon, so what you would do is you would just set it up right here where he spawns. Have it firing, and this is your life. One thing I didn't mention is that you can bring a spec weapon. I know in if you look on a lot of guides or on the wiki, it will say like claws. But another spec weapon you could use is maybe the DDS. If you have any other ideas, put them in the comments. If you're using the fang, you can just use that spec and hit him pretty hard. Otherwise, just bring whatever you can. Anyways, time to wrap this up and talk about the drops and combat achievements. So keep in mind this is a starter boss slash mid-level boss, so you're not going to make a ton of money here. Each kill averages out to about 23k. He will drop a mole claw and 1-3 to three mole skins every kill, noted with the diary. He has a few mithril elks and a rune medhelm, and also you will often see noted ulogs and some other miscellaneous drops such as sharks or noted iron ore. There's a 1 in 3k drop rate of the baby mole pet, which is why high level players camp here, and a 1 in 500 chance at an elite clue, and also a small chance of curved bones and long bones. With the mole, there's only 6 combat achievements going from easy to elite, and shown on screen is now all of them. Well, that covers pretty much everything. Very simple, beginner friendly boss in terms of mechanics and medium ish requirements. 
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more guides. I think that covers it. Comment if you get the baby mole. Comment with any other ideas. Join my Discord in the description. That's it. See ya.